Warner Brothers has officially scrapped the Batgirl movie as of August 2nd, 2022, even with most of the film already finished. Today, I'll be talking about why in the world Warner Brothers would even decide to scrap this movie that was being looked at as a future hit due to the return of Michael Keaton as Batman. As I already explained, today I am discussing what in the world is going on over at Warner Brothers Studios because they have announced that the Batgirl movie starring Leslie Grace as Batgirl, along with major names such as J.K. Simmons, Michael Keaton, and Brendan Fraser, which is honestly, it's an insane, it's an insane cast. It really is. How could they cancel a movie such as this? Like, it, it's just, it doesn't make sense. Not to mention, about 90% of this movie was already finished. And it was, what, an 80 to $90 million budget already? It just doesn't make sense to me as to why they would cut this. Like, realistically, why did you get rid... Like, you've wasted the money. You put the time, you've put the effort into it. You brought back Michael friggin' Keaton. You got Brendan Fraser to play Firefly in this film. I'm sorry, it just doesn't make sense to me. This cast is huge. This, 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 the audience wants this. And here's Warner Brothers saying, "Um, bye-bye, you're not getting an already almost finished product. This is bogus to me. Anyways, before I go off on a complete and total tangent, uh, the reason uh, Warner has shelved this film, uh, they had a change of power, actually. And so I guess the new boss basically stated that the movie doesn't reflect on how they believe Warner Brothers Discovery should be run. (sighs) Which is confusing to me because... Batgirl is a superhero we haven't gotten a whole lot out of, and with such a hell of a cast, it just doesn't make sense as how this movie wouldn't reflect well considering um, it's showing a female protagonist. You know what I mean? It's bringing back um, an old beloved character as Michael Keaton as Batman. It, 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 I feel like it screams nostalgia and it screams, you know you know, we're, we're changing as a, as a culture that women are, are also, you know, big, um, superheroes and, you know, we have Wonder Womans of the world and now here's Batgirl, but we're not, we're not getting it. It just doesn't make sense to me. Um, I for one want to see this movie. I want to see it get made. I really do. I was really excited because I like, um, I like DC. I like, you know, watching the animated movies, I like watching the animated shows, and, uh, you know, DC doesn't make the greatest movies, like, live-action movies anymore, but this could have been, you know, it could have been, it could have been something great, um, at least something profitable for Warner, um, but hey, who knows, maybe I'm in the wrong here, maybe Warner is, uh, finally getting their head on straight with this new, you know, person in charge, I have no idea, really, I really don't, it's also come to my attention that Batgirl is not the only movie that Warner has tossed in the trash, but, um, a sequel to the 2020 hit movie Scoob, um, which was an, uh, animated film about Scooby-Doo and the gang, um, showing how they, you know, came to be, it was like a, uh, like a prequel to any series we had ever gotten, uh, well, there was supposed to be a sequel called Scoob the Haunted Holiday, um, which was supposed to be a Christmas movie, uh, which would air specifically on HBO Max, but that's already been axed, and they are apparently not making it whatsoever. Um, I don't know if that's the case with Batgirl, if it'll come back at all um, in the future. I have no idea, but as of right now, they're both gone. Both these movies are gone. And now everybody is kind of like, oh shit, is Warner going to get rid of um, my favorite show or my favorite movie? And so it really, now everyone's freaking out. I Apparently, um, Peacemaker, which was really huge for HBO Max, is safe for now. Um, I believe, what's his name, James Gunn, the uh, director, has said that it is safe. 
that it is still going to continue being made. So that's awesome for fans of that series. So what the heck do you think is going on over at Warner Brothers? Are the new guys in charge insane or are they doing what they believe is truly best for business? Personally, I think we are going to get Batgirl, the movie. Um, I already have seen all over social media plenty of people pissed, angry, upset that this film is canned. And honestly, Warner canceling the movie only made people like more wanting to see this film. Some people might not have even known it was coming. And now that it's not, they're like, well, why not? They want to see it. People want to see Batgirl. People are excited to see Batgirl. So maybe with um, an outrage of, of fans, an outrage of people all across the world, Warner might change their minds and say, fine, it's already basically finished. Get the last, you know, whatever you have to do to get done and, and, and let's release this film for our audience. Who knows if that's going to be the case. But honestly, I, I think that it will happen at some point within the next few months. Warner will come to their senses. But as for now, it is still canceled. Anyways, guys, let me know what your thoughts are on this entire situation at hand. And if you think Warner did the right thing or if they did the wrong thing for canceling the Batgirl film. All right, guys. So that is all I've got for you today. Thank you for watching today's video. And if you have any questions and or comments, leave them in the comment section. I love talking to people. So let's talk, especially about something like this this is a fun topic um and something you don't see every day with them canceling a movie that's nearly complete uh so yeah thank you and i'll see you in the next one peace